welcome. We are in the, the, our studio here in downtown Rochester today. We got a couple of uh, guests here with us today, and you guys uh, have been in here before, but uh, you know it, it's been a, a long road, I guess you could say, since the last time you were here. Big event coming up here in just about a week and a half in downtown Rochester. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, who you are? Because there might be one or two people in the in the county that don't know who you guys are, but. I'm sure pretty much everybody does. Tell us who you are and, and tell us a little bit about what we got coming up. Sure, sure. My name is Jillian Smith. I'm the Executive Director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we are putting on the 29th Annual Chili Cook-Off. It's in conjunction, of course, with the Red Hot Car Show. Coming up October 9th. Uh, we're a couple weeks away yet, but... I don't know, you're airing this throughout the next couple weeks, so come on out. Um, October 9th, all-day event. Chili Cook-Off will begin at 11 a.m. We have 16 teams entered. Um, you can taste as many as you want. Vote for your favorite, and we'll have an awards ceremony at 1.30. And it's not just a Chili Cook-Off either, is it? No, it's uh, our 25th uh, Red Hot Car Show, and we start, uh, our registration starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, we have, uh, depending on the weather, we'll have up to five, six hundred cars, and uh, we hope to hope for good weather. So, uh, you know, this has been a little bit of a, uh, a process, obviously, getting through what we had to deal with last year and, and getting back into a little bit more normalcy. Uh, talk about what that was like because that was kind of on the schedule. Up until I don't remember exactly when you guys decided last year that it wasn't going to happen, but it was it was on the schedule. I know there's a ton of planning. I just uh, kind of in, uh, enjoying myself here because you guys were doing a little impromptu meeting uh, before we got started, and there is just a ton of planning that goes along with this. And, and talk about the the disappointment, I guess, that goes along with last year. Well, we it is uh, a year long process, yeah. and. Uh, I think we we finally pulled the plug uh, mid June, mm -hmm. July, uh, but you know we have sponsorship uh, that we have to go out and get. It takes a tremendous amount of uh, community support to to do this, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it just we just couldn't do it. You know with mm -hmm. with the COVID and uh, the bad part is bad part good part you know most of our uh membership and the help is i'm fairly young for the people that that put this show on yeah and you know it's it's just too risky mm -hmm. uh for them people to to be out mm -hmm. hopefully we get everything cleared up and we've got good support uh financially and personnel wise so uh, we're bringing in Stacy David uh, for our 25th. Uh, you know, try to do something a little bit different. And for the people that may not know him, he's a TV personality. Uh, he has a, a restoration show uh, called Gears, but mm -hmm. he's from Tennessee and uh, pretty well known and mm -hmm. you know just a good guy. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had a lot of a lot of people calling, making sure he's still coming and <laughs> going to be here. So, you know, we're looking forward to it and, and hopefully our biggest show ever, uh, weather dependent. Yeah. yeah. So you, uh, you head up the chili cook-off part yeah. of the, uh, of the show. This is, this is, I, I'm assuming the biggest event in downtown Rochester throughout the year. And yes. how many teams are you expecting this year? And Yep, so we have 16 teams this year, um, which is about average. I think we actually had 16 in 2019 as well. Okay. Um, so we're expecting a, a really good crowd. We have um, some great – I'm excited. So we always get questions every year. Um, well, what can I have besides chili? One year we had grilled cheese. Somebody brought macaroni and cheese, maybe a cookies. Um, this year, someone said, well, can I do two types of chili? Well, I'm sure. They said, well, we want to do one that's judged and is, is fine, but we want to do an extra hot chili. Yeah. We just we don't want that one judged. We just want to throw it out there, and people can try it if they want to. 
All right. Hmm. <laughs> I won't be trying that one. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, the, what's that movie? Wild Hogs, where they, where they're going through Arizona and they, they stop at a chili cook-off and they, they talk about the chilies lighting their throat on fire. Yes. So is that what we're looking for here? We got a, I heard you talking about a fire truck. Right. Is that what that's I, for? I hope we don't have to use it for the chili, but yeah. I guess you never know. <laughs> so, um, on the car side of it, uh, what do you expect in turnout-wise? I know you were talking a lot of it depends, obviously, on, on the weather, which sounds like it's going to be really nice. With with good weather, a good weather forecast, uh, along with the good weather on the day, you know, we, we've we had up to 600 cars. Uh, typically, a run-of-the-mill show is... 400 uh but this year you know i with good weather and everything i would expect uh, to surpass the 600 you know 700 maybe uh but it, it'll fill the courthouse and main street from 9th street to 4th street and uh on up the alleys up to the alleys all the way down yeah. Uh, and we'll need every bit of that for 700 cars. Yeah, I, I heard you guys talking about the map, and we'll we'll include a map for you here on the uh, the broadcast that uh, you guys can take a look at and kind of get an idea of it. You've got 16 booths plus yeah. you know six 700 cars. I mean, that's a that's a big task just coordinating where everybody is. Yeah, luckily, I mean, we're so blessed to have the city of Rochester who they look forward to this event every year as well. So working with um, the chief of police and his staff, working with the street department, the fire department, the water department, it's really all hands on deck. And we, mm -hmm. we need everyone to pull it off. Um, and we're so, we're so thankful to have them. They're out there the night before helping us block off roads, uh, making sure that our, we have some food vendors to... Um, on 8th Street, making sure that they get in place where they need to be. Um, it's it's a big day. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you both have your fingers crossed because there has been a ton of construction work going on <laughs> throughout the town uh, this summer. You know, 9th Street has been chewed up all summer. They just started on a, uh, a project where they're replacing some street lights. Uh, I'm sure you're walking past there every day, driving past there every day, just, uh, you know, how far along are they? Are they going to be done, you know? by the uh, time that everything starts. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, everything's fluid up until uh, Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it does look like, uh, you know, everything they've got done looks great. and They're making good time on the lights. And mm -hmm. I, I don't doubt that they'll be done. You know, they're... Yeah, we've been... We talked to Mayor Den a few months ago and he gave us the... Heads up, hey, this is going to be cutting it close, but we want you to know we're, we're really working hard to make sure it's done by end of September. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually started ahead of schedule on mm -hmm. the lights. Um, so we're happy to see that. And Chris met with NDOT on the road closures and getting yeah. all the improvements made. So. And they've, they've done what they can to mm -hmm. accelerate it. I mean, everybody involved has uh, done a really good job and been very cooperative. You know, very few, if any... Uh, body going against the grain. You know, yeah. Which, yeah. And it, it wasn't just a repaving project either. I mean, they were digging down and, <laughs> yeah. and doing a lot of uh, new base and, and yep. uh, you know, so it was a big time project that they were working on yep. there. So uh, you got to appreciate that uh, they've really worked hard to, uh, hmm. you know, kind of help you guys out. Um, so is there anything else that's going on during this? I mean, is there food vendors that will be there as well? Yep. So so there's a few events going on with it. The um, United Way of Fulton County does their Red Hot Chili 5K walk run okay. every year the same day. Um, they'll start at 7th and Mon Monroe Streets at 930. Um, so you can do that first. And then the chili cook-off, the car show, we'll have um, nine food vendors set up in front of where WROI is on 8th Street, right across from the courthouse. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be lined up there. I know the Animal Center, they're normally at First Federal Savings Bank. They're moving to the show this year. So they'll be selling Nelson's Porta Pit. Um, they'll have chicken and potato potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have our, our normal, we have elephant ears and... Um, kettle corn, um, lemon shake-ups, tenderloins, all that. Um, and then, of course, the chamber booth is also selling um, hot dogs and pop. 
So it should be plenty of food. Um, and then it's also you pick weekend for the Optimist Club. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're bored that day, it's your own fault. <laughs> right, right. There's no excuses there. <laughs> but the Optimists will be out there. Of course, they're doing their pumpkin sales. And so you can head, head that way too. Right. And I heard you talking, Chris, uh, what time does the car start coming in? Pretty early, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll have, uh, you'll start seeing some cars that uh, that start showing up on Friday night. I mean, we, we don't let them park in the, the car show zone, mm -hmm. but you'll start seeing some around town. Uh, we typically bring cars in from the four surrounding states. Uh, I just had a call this morning of a guy that lives in Michigan City said his buddy's coming up from St. Louis, Missouri. Hmm. So it, uh, they'll, they'll be here. We, we try to have our parkers in position at seven o'clock, mm -hmm. uh, because we have to get them all, uh, parked headed the right direction. Uh, you know, it can't be a free for all. Right. Uh, you know, we've got an emergency evacuation, program or plan that uh you know we need to abide by and make sure that if something would happen that uh everybody's headed in the right direction and can get out orderly mm -hmm. uh, so we try to set up at seven we'll have there'll be 10 or 12 cars here before that that we'll catch and run around and mm -hmm. make sure they're parked properly but about seven o'clocks when they they start rolling in fairly heavy yeah. And I would assume with that many cars, there's probably going to be something for everybody. I mean, you'll have cars from every pretty much era and type yeah. and yep. kind. And we'll have whatever you want to see for mm -hmm. the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there, we have a supercar or two, you know, usually shows up, uh, but a lot of your older, older vehicles, a lot of the newer vehicles. I mean, it's just, uh, it, it covers about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Studebakers, Fords, Chevys, yeah. Dodge, all the way from uh, from day one when they took the horse off to uh, yeah. pretty much today. Yeah, so yep. a little variety for every everybody. So for sure, um, you talked about some of the the different types of uh, you know people that are bringing chili in. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, what different kind of awards do you have for the uh, chili cookoff? So we have. Um, a process. We have five judges that um, judge each chili based on aroma, texture, taste, um, appearance. Um, they judge those. We'll tally that up and we'll do cash prizes for first and second place there. We also have a best decorated booth contest. So our judges will go out to the show um, before tasting begins, um, check out all of the booths, see the different themes, um, decide on a favorite there and then uh, for another cash prize and then we also have a people's choice award that's given out so um, for anyone that comes in they can vote on their favorite we'll tally all of those up and hand out a people's choice award as well okay so for the uh, the one that's gonna try and light your throat on fire do you have a hottest award no but I would assume that that's into the judges <laughs> mix there yeah they um they have a quite the rubric that they have to follow. Mm -hmm. It's a three or four page document um, mm -hmm. that they're judging each team and the spice level is on there. So yeah, be watching for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get a little bit too overboard on that. I mean, yeah. I think the throat on fire level <laughs> is maybe a little bit too I, much for chili. I think there was one um, in 2019 that they said, I, <laughs> the quote was, I think the flavor would have been good if I could have tasted it. <laughs> And it probably hurts for the rest of them too, because their their taste buds are probably all melted for the rest of the day. Yep, yep. So, well, it's it's great that uh, you guys are back and that the uh, show is back. Twenty ninth annual for the yep. chili cook off. Twenty fifth yep. for the red hot car show. Red hot chili cook off. Red hot car. Show. Red hot car show <laughs> and the chili, chili cook, cook off. off. Okay, so 29 and 25. So mm -hmm. had a few years there before the uh, cars started coming in. and But uh, it just seems to be a, a great combination. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. and then you talk about all the other stuff going on downtown. I mean, if you 
like you said, if you can't find something to do in downtown Rochester on Saturday, you're probably, you know, sleeping in your bedroom or something because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else that you guys want to talk about on, uh, on that? I know we'll put some maps up for yeah. you guys and kind of give you an idea where everything is and where everybody will be at. No, the only thing I have uh, is one thing that that we did lose out on is uh, with the, the new light poles coming in, mm -hmm. we cannot hang our banners for our sponsors like like we have in the past. Uh, gotcha. Typically anybody, the $250 and more donors get a, a banner that we hang up on Main Street Mm -hmm. And uh, they they just aren't going to have the the hangers ready okay. for us this year. So we're scrambling around trying to figure out what we can do to to help them out. Uh, you know, as far as the the advertisement, but uh, we're we're looking at putting something maybe around the courthouse. So we got permission to to do that. And, Eventually, they'll have those on the light poles. They just yeah, we'll, ready we'll go this. back to hanging them up yeah. on the light poles. Uh, yeah. They use the Christmas decoration mm -hmm. brackets. So sure. Works out well. Right. I guess one thing I should ask about, because you know, we talked about not having it last year because of COVID, uh, any restrictions that you guys are going to have in place, or is it kind of, uh, you know, come and, and you know, do what you feel you need to do kind of thing? Yeah. It's... We're very thankful this is an outdoor event. We have plenty of space. Um, all of our food vendors will be abiding by um, health department protocol. And then of course we'll be wearing our, our gloves when serving food and, and making sure that we're safe there. Um, we do ask that people just be mindful. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not comfortable going out, we hope that you'll take advantage of some of the photos that'll be posted um, at a later time. But just be mindful of, of others around you and you know, if you want to have a little bit of a safe distance, we understand. Um, it is nice, you know, we were talking a little bit before we recorded that we've moved the Chili teams this year from 8th Street to Main Street. And one of the advantages to that, um, it was a little bit of a safety issue in prior years just because there are so many people gathered around right at 11 o'clock that want to try all the Chili. Uh, and 8th Street was pretty narrow mm -hmm. in comparison. So being on Main Street, we're able to spread out the teams a little bit more. We're able to have more room, so we're not el elbow to elbow. Um, and we're we're happy to say that we can do that. And uh, it just happened to be that we moved it right after a global pandemic, but I think it's working out for everyone very well. Good, good. Well, if you're not doing anything on October 9th, that's a uh, Saturday here in downtown Rochester. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. <laughs> right around the courthouse and uh, surrounding blocks, but uh, really looking forward to uh, to coming out, having some chili, going out and checking out possibly 700 cars. So a lot of stuff going on. You said the Pumpkins, uh, Optimus Club is doing their their pumpkins. The United Way is also going to have their 5K run slash walk uh, in the morning as well. So a lot of stuff going on. So, Jillian and Chris, thanks for coming in, and uh, we hope everything goes well. You know, fingers crossed the weather, like you said, looks good right now, and, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully it stays that way. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Right. Thank you. Check them out on October 9th, downtown Rochester.